Congreso tiene un objetivo que es científico, obviamente, que es sacar conclusiones de cómo eh, podemos todavía mejorar eh, la investigación que hay en Aceite Libre de Salud, entendida salud en un concepto planetario, no únicamente salud humana, los beneficios de, de, del consumo de aceite de oliva para la salud humana, sino para el planeta, ¿no? eh, cómo somos capaces de gestionar todo lo que tiene que ver con bioeconomía, economía circular y aportar valor también y contribuir al objetivo de desarrollo sostenible en el olivar. Hablamos de un, digamos, de un concepto de olivar aumentado. ¿no? Y por otro lado, eh, pues lo que estamos viendo también es que es una tarea fenomenal de promoción de la provincia de Jaén y de nuestros aceites. ¿no? Bueno, es una red importantísima de, de los mayores expertos que muchos de ellos por primera vez nos están descubriendo. ¿no? Estos días han venido a Jaén pues las primeras espadas, eh, los mejores en ámbitos de gran importancia, como es el ámbito de la salud, pero también en los ámbitos medioambientales, ¿no? el cambio climático, la economía circular o la biodiversidad, que son preocupaciones crecientes en nuestra sociedad. Y además, una tercera pata muy importante, que es cómo contarlo, cómo explicarlo y todo el ámbito del, del marketing. Y en ese sentido, el Congreso es único, es extraordinario. Y además que suceda en España y en concreto en Jaén, pues es, es yo creo muy adecuado. It is an exciting conference. It is very well organized. It covers everything from health to climate changes to agroeconomy and you know food which is I think really will promote the values of olive oil and olive products. The effects of olive oil in terms of cardiovascular disease, cognitive disease, even cancer. Even, you know, I can give you examples of how the olive oil could improve life after surgery and chemotherapy. There are a lot of factors that we try to promote and initiate research on those fields so people understand more the beneficial effects. Realmente el aceite por sí mismo uh, tiene muchísimas cualidades sobre la salud, principalmente su efecto antiinflamatorio y antioxidante. Y como la mayoría de enfermedades tienen esta base inflamatoria oxidativa, pues el aceite tiene un efecto protector. Pero esto si lo unimos a la dieta mediterránea, hay un sinergismo entre, entre los distintos alimentos y esto hace que el efecto todavía sea mucho mayor. Por lo tanto, aquí el producto de venta es la dieta mediterránea con un buen aceite de oliva origen extra. This conference is very good because it is a good opportunity for the dissemination of the uh, scientific results, dissemination to the population. And this, in this way we can pat the uh, farmer, we can pat the miller inside the scientific results to better understand the translation and the transfer of the results the scientific results with an application methods directly in the farm or directly in the mill. This has been an amazing experience so far, very well organized and we gathered a lot of people working in this olive uh, tree and its products to highlight the importance of incorporating that in our daily lives. And it's a great venue to have it, uh, best place to, to have it in Spain in Jaén. I, I think especially after having gone through two years of this pandemic, we have to restart and reset and understand that uh, the olive tree and its products gives more than human health. We have to focus on planetary health as well, uh, circular economy, sustainability of agriculture, and we have to go back to some basic things. We've done a lot of damage on this planet, and I think the olive tree gives us an opportunity to start again. It, it's beneficial for our health as human beings, but also for our planet. Uh, I think this is a very interesting and important conference because I think olive oil is a very interesting product uh, also in the light of the green transition of the food sector in Europe. Uh, olive oil has a lot of potential because of its health properties uh, and a lot of can be done in terms of more sustainable production and I think if one does it in the right way uh, there will also be a lot of positive consumer response in the future. I think uh, it's very good, this conference here, it brings together different disciplines, uh, all working with olive oil, but there are people from the health sciences, people working with sustainability, uh, people working with business models, myself working with consumer behavior, and I think it's very good to have this interdisciplinary orientation here. Yale University program to develop more and more messaging about olive oil and health is one of the most important things we can do to grow consumption. There's no question about that. We see in the U.S. that 
health is continues to be the number one driver of consumption. So we applaud their efforts and we're very excited that this is such a big conference. I think they doubled or almost tripled the number of participants than the last one.